Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture is titled Jupiter with the Great Red Spot. So, what do we see here? Well, as you may guess from the title, we do see the planet Jupiter. And Jupiter today, on January 10th of 2026, is at opposition. Now, this image was taken just a few days ago with a telescope here on Earth. And opposition is the time when it is best to observe a planet. It is when the planet is opposite to the sun in the sky. It means that it's at its closest to Earth and that it is up all night when it is darkest. And that's when we get the best images of these objects when taken from Earth. Of course, even better if you can take a spacecraft out there, as we looked not too long ago at an image of Jupiter taken from the Juno spacecraft. But when you're looking just from Earth, this is one way you can be able to see it when it's at its best. And that is the time right now when Jupiter is at opposition, means that it is rising as the sun sets and setting as the sun rises, and it is up all night long. Now, opposition happens with every planet that orbits has a larger orbit than Earth, so it's farther away from the sun than Earth. So that's most of the planets in the solar system, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The two planets that can never be at opposition are Mercury and Venus, and that's because they orbit closer to the sun than Earth, and they can never be on the opposite side of the sky from the sun they are always close to the same direction as the Sun. So while Jupiter can be seen at opposition, Venus can never be seen at opposition and is always seen either in the morning, right before sunrise, or in the evening, right after sunset. Now when we look at Jupiter, we do see the great red spot here down toward the lower right. That is a large storm that has been seen on Jupiter for hundreds of years. And it's been shrinking recently. It's down to about the Earth size. And that's about half the size it was about a hundred years ago. So it's been slowly shrinking over that time, and astronomers question whether it will continue to shrink and eventually disappear. Storms on Earth do come and go, so it's quite possible that those on Jupiter do not last forever either, and that we're only seeing one stage with this large storm. Of course, we also do not know if it will continue to strengthen after this. Maybe it's weakened a little bit. Maybe a new energy source will continue with it, and it will start to strengthen and grow again. We have no way of knowing. We have to sit there and watch it over time. We will see what happens over the next few decades. If it continues to shrink, or if it stabilizes at a new smaller size, or if it stops shrinking and continues to grow again. So that's one of the things that we will be watching with the Great Red Spot. And here we see one of those images taken just a few days ago with Jupiter very close to opposition, being at its closest to Earth and up all night in the sky. So that was our picture of the day titled Jupiter with the Great Red Spot. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the Broad Brimmed Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.